Hey, it's Joshua Vergara from Android Authority. What's going on, everybody? And I have kind of a really cool thing to show you here. This is a printer case that can be used with Samsung Galaxy S devices, in particular, the S5, the S6, and in a more recent update, the Galaxy S7 has been added on as well. It's called Print. And if you are a photog, your smartphone photographer, and you post your pictures on Instagram, on Facebook, or even just share them with your friends, this might be a cool and fun way for you to share them in a different way. Essentially, print is a case that latches onto a Galaxy S device when you're talking about Android, and it allows you to print out small little photos that you can share with your friends or keep for yourself. But there's a little bit of a cool futuristic feel to these that I'll get into in a little bit. As I mentioned, the print case is compatible with Samsung Galaxy S devices, and it requires a specific bracket for you to put it onto there. But before you even get the phone onto there using the proper bracket, you have to open up the middle and put in some of the zinc paper. Now, zinc is kind of a really interesting technology in that it doesn't use any ink to actually print things out. Essentially, the zinc paper doesn't require any ink because everything that's needed to create the photo is embedded into the layers of the paper, and then the zinc printer simply just makes all of that come out. Once loaded, you just put the phone into the bracket and it connects via the micro USB connection and then it looks a little bit like this. Now, I already know what you're thinking, it's kind of a bulky accessory to have and you're absolutely right, but thankfully, the Samsung Galaxy S device doesn't have to be mounted into the printer in order to take photos and essentially the six second videos that come after them. You can use the print app which is downloadable from the Google Play Store and just use that on its own, uh, only to put the phone into the case later if you need to print out those prints. There is a hardware button on the print case itself, which is kind of nice to use as it allows for focusing and for taking the initial frame. When taking that initial picture, however, six seconds of video will then be recorded after it so that your subject can pretty much do whatever that they want. And those six seconds of video will be uploaded to the cloud and then brought back down after the scanner in the print app scans the photo that is created. That photo already can be given to friends or kept for one's own keepsake, but when you open up the scanner in the print app, you will be able to scan that photo and via the embedded code that is inside the photo, it will take the video and add in an augmented reality style video playback on top of that photo. Now this is the futuristic part that is actually really cool and everyone so far has really been impressed by it. And as I mentioned before already, the print app can be downloaded onto any Android device as it is available in the Google Play Store, which means that if you give these photos to other people and they don't have Galaxy S devices, at the very least they will be able to have fun with the augmented reality portion of the print app by opening up the scanner and scanning the photo that you give them. But that's where a small little problem came to light. The print case is only compatible with specific portions of the Android population, which we think is a bit of a travesty because the print case could have been a Bluetooth or Wi-Fi direct enabled printer, one that would be able to connect to pretty much any Android device, and then anyone would be able to have this kind of fun using the photos from the print app. Now, personally, I think it's still really fun to use and it sort of thinks outside of the box of digital photography, smartphone photography rather, and gives a new layer of a way to share these memories with other people or even to just have the memories on our own. But the print case is available for $149 and the zinc paper is at about 50 cents a pop, which sounds a little bit steep, but Polaroid photos back in the day were, no, were not cheap at all either. And we also want to see more accessories that think in more than just one direction. In this case, Print takes our digital smartphone photography, gives it that old school tangible feel, and then adds in what could only be described as our undeniably cool future. Keep it tuned to Android Authority for even more, and don't forget to head on over to our sibling sites as well, VR Source, Tab Times, and Sound Guys. And then when you're done with all of that, bring it on back here to AndroidAuthority.com. Subscribe to our YouTube channel if you haven't already, and then stick around because we are your source for all things Android.